Lucas, they've got you paired with the boss. I so know. So do you feel like it's your best? <laughs> what what does it speech? say? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> let's put, let's put you on it's the like spot. It's like being sent to the principal's office. You know? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna put you on the spot for a second. What is it that after three seasons that you've learned about Darren? Um, well, I'm still learning. I'm, I've learned today that he's one of the funniest person I know. <laughs> he has a very subtle okay. sense of humor, which I love. Uh, just a, one whisper can make me lose uh, like 15 minutes. But Darren is, you know, what you see is what you get. He's a very straightforward, honest uh, human being. And uh, I, that's what I respect, you know, is uh, there's no circling around. It's quite the opposite of his writing, actually. Mm -hmm. There's no chaos. He's just a very... A true and honest person. Thank you. Which I, he's like, good job, good job. <laughs> Can <laughs> no, I go no, now? <laughs> it, it, it totally makes sense, which is why you know Darren's had so many successful shows. And and I do want to ask about Italy and Paris. Here we are, season three. Thank you. We love the show. How does season three compare to one and two? I feel like there's a lot of evolution, a lot of growth for Emily and and. In season three, we branch out and spend time with the rest of the ensemble. We learn more about the other characters, and there's a lot more French spoken because of that. But I think there's a, there's just some really terrific storylines for the other characters, and it's the show is not comp just it's not all about Emily's journey. It's about the 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 journey of some of the other characters that she's interacting with, and um, and I think it just makes the show richer. For that. Why is he nervous? Because I'm so nervous. <laughs> now, Lucas, this is it being described as like a oh, oh, <laughs> as a it's being described as a lusty love triangle. Did, I, I think that's how it's being described. Talk a little bit about lusty. the by whom? Who's describing <laughs> by by by? You need to take ownership of your lusty of love your triangle. <laughs> I'm trying to put it on somebody else. <laughs> this lusty love triangle. Ooh. Talk a little bit about the, about the conundrum that you're in this season, oh, or what, for what you can tell us, or tease. Well, I mean, you know, it, it, it took like a few months to write it and, and as much to shoot it, and uh, you want me to describe it in a, f a few seconds? Uh, it's, <laughs> it's, uh, it's, it's complicated. It's, uh, you know, on Facebook back in as the days, it, it would be, I'm in a relationship and it's complicated. Um, <laughs> That's a good way to describe it. Yeah, I'm in a relationship and it's complicated. <laughs> there's, there's just there's a lot of love and there's a lot of um, desire and uh, you know there are young characters they have their entire life ahead of them and uh, it's, it's it's hard to make a choice and it's even harder to renounce uh, other choices because nowadays we, we we live in a society where we feel like we can have everything at the same time, but you know, at yes. some point you have to choose, or maybe not. Thank you for being a friend. Travel down the road and back again. Golden girls. G golden girls? Never mind. Where do we find your character this season and maybe a little bit of the journey that he's on? Um, is is uh, is in a transitional phase. Is um, he, he got to that state of uh, finally, you know. Taking a bit of taking ownership of his restaurant, kind of, because uh, William is still, you know, handling things and not maybe the way, uh, not not William, Antoine. I got you. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> sorry, there's there are so many names. We're a big family now, and um, so is it feels like is it is in that place, but not really. So I think is is still very. Um, uh, conflicted in, 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 in his mind and uh, so I think I think there's a real desire for him to take ownership and to make strong choices and to you know mature maybe the pressure is not worth it it's definitely worth it it's your dream we know that this has already been picked up for season four yay we're very excited about <laughs> that and I think Kate described it I read and I really did read this she described it as a love letter to France do you think that knowing that we now have another season, and I know the show's called Emily in Paris, that we might venture outside of France in the following season? Or maybe a spinoff, you know, like Luke in London or something. I don't know. <laughs> oh, um, you know. Luke in London. I, I would watch that. <laughs> I would say right now, we're, I think right now we're, we're still pretty much in love with France. We've, our, the love affair is still strong. 
It is. Yes, and you know that's where her job is. She's she's kind of she's kind of stuck there for the present moment, Emily in Paris. Um, you know, and she's and she's like kind of she's she's made such a she can't leave that huge mess. She's not someone who's just gonna walk away from a mess before she mm. before she sort of sorts things out. So. She's got some. She's still gonna be spending some time there. I also realized shooting this show that uh, after living in Paris for 15 years, that there's there's there, there seems to be no no end to no end to what we can discover in this city. And I thought I knew it all. And every time we found a new location, and and it's just it's just such a small town, a small city, and but yet there's so many little hidden uh, treasures and um, and the more we find them and the more we realize that it's an infinity and it's ever expanding because the city is very diverse and always in motion so it's a, it's a story you could tell for ages and also there's an angle of there's a prism of perspective from from which you're telling the story and you can switch from an angle to another so it, it would take a lifetime to tell the story of Paris.